All right. Ignition. Oh wait, I forgot to put the comms on the thingamajig. Uh, well that, I think that's just the revert. We should just... I forgot to put the comms on the thingamajig, hold on. Okay, off we go again. Gotta love these hydrogen rockets. I could probably have gone shallower. Uh oh, maybe I can. What? No, there's a furring on. You can't get over hot, overheated. Stop. No. 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 Okay. Or something got destroyed anyway. No. No. Maybe it's still there. Uh. Clampatron Jr. and Octo 2 explode due to overheating. I think it's safe to say we're allowed to revert on that. Uh, okay. So, we'll just not accelerate so much. And maybe I won't light this one at the ground. We'll just wait. Uh, yeah. Maybe our thrust weight ratio is high. I guess, maybe. Are you sure about that 1.6? Because I'm not sure about that 1.6. Okay, well, I guess you're sure. All right, so we'll tone that down a bit. All right. Must be cautious. These uh, SRBs do not gimbal that much. Okay, well, I'll feel a lot better with the nuke on now. Oh, shoot. I'll throw down. I'll throw down. I'll throw down. Let's turn getting too high. We're getting into space. Hang on there. Pull off, please. I'm gonna release the fairing. That's a heck of a way to eject. I mean, increasing the ejection force doesn't make me feel any better, really. It's the docking port, I think. Whoa. Seems like it's the docking port. Okay, moho time. The nuke is not giving us quite as much as we would like to have had under the circumstances. Oh good, the ascending node is there. It's pretty good right there. Ah, uh, we've got an encounter even. Alright, we'll just go with that for now. Okay, whoop. An Eve periapsis? What? <laughs> no! <laughs> this is too complicated, no! <laughs> okay. Wait, uh, it seems like we're getting further away there, because Eve is interfering with us. Okay, I think we'll eventually get- okay. We've pulled away from Eve. Now we're getting closer or further away from Moho if we keep burning. It seems like we're getting further away. We had a very nice plot, we had a whole Moho encounter, and then suddenly what's happened? Uh, let me try and plot something here to fix it. Uh, As NASA had told me using Eve deliberately or something to reduce my capture velocity around Moho. 
Okay, well that seems close enough to me. Let's do that quickly. It's not gotta be right, is it? Oh well, we're crashing into Moho. I guess that's okay. We need to figure out how to get into the same orbit as the rover though. Our current line isn't the great match for that. But anyway, we'll worry about that when we get there. Alright, we're crashing into Moho, so we're getting there. Let's go. No mid-course correction necessary. Carrying this whole thing with us. How, how was Eve even interfering with us when it's all the way over there? Was that like the second orbit around? Yeah, a little bit more than that. Okay. So... Focus. Set as target. That's a nearly 90 degree difference. It's not even in a convenient place. Well, if we capture like that, the ascending node's up there. That's one way to do it. We could maybe... Tilt out here. Because the descending node's here. Uh, that's not helping anything. I mean, maybe we can do something right now. Whoa, that descending node thing just showed up really big. Okay, well let's try that for a start. Well, we can basically correct the inclination with this capture burn here. Uh, it's getting a little bit complicated as far as potential rendezvous points, but we probably shouldn't be looking at that just yet. Then again, this one's really juicy. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's before or after our capture burn. Hmm. It seems like after an orbit, but I'm not sure. It's an after, if it's after an orbit, that's okay. But anyway, we're gonna try this. Go. Okay, we're capturing. Okay, let's see what our situation is here. 0.5 degrees is not too bad. Alright, so we have an encounter within the old render range. I don't know how applicable that is. But only 77 meters per second, so that's okay. And we don't have to worry about the inclination because, well, we already have that. So, alright, so we'll continue to use this stage for that part. Well, we're gonna dump some extra junk into orbit around Moho. Okay, whichever engine you were. Okay, Rover. Eh, we're not quite lined up the way I would be in Realism Overhaul, but... I don't know, it's lulled me into a false sense of security with the way things dock around here. I don't know, maybe it won't like this though. Or it does. Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to 4Science and Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. I last left the mission in orbit around Moho and we were trying to bring back the rover science and it was spinning there, but I guess that's okay. Uh, we can just time warp to stop that. I really want to get to doing a test of Eve's atmosphere before the patch hits and this will be the last time I get to record before the patch hits, that's for sure. I'm doing this off stream, so... And that's because the timing was just a little bit off, and yeah, we really need to get on with this. So yeah, I'm gonna bring this back, and then we'll see if I can launch an EVE mission as well, but I have to do this fairly quickly. Now the phase angle that needs to happen is Kerbin needs to be ahead of us by 78 degrees. 
and right now that's not the case for sure. So let's go to the tracking station, well first the space center, then the tracking station, and then time warp, and get it to that point. Now, I don't know if we have enough Delta V for a capture at Kerbin afterwards, I was hoping so, but we'll see. We're in an inclined orbit around Moho, so it's a little bit complicated when it comes to the return burn. If not, the little probe on top just has a heat shield, we'll just plop it into the atmosphere and hope it survives kind of thing. But Moho is pretty, coming back from Moho is pretty harsh. Well, that might be 78 degrees, let's see. Of course, Moho's orbit is lopsided, so it's tough to say. Oh yeah, it's gonna be weird, alright. Okay, I'm coming to the conclusion this is not good timing right now. You know what, what if I just broke orbit and got into Kerbal Space? This is probably not a good idea, but... Um, doesn't take a whole lot to break orbit from Moho. Alright, I mean, plotting two maneuvers isn't gonna tell me what the second maneuver is going to be anyway. Maybe I can go by fuel? Or I can go by whether it tells me I'm out of fuel. No, maybe it's not even- maybe it doesn't even know that, though. Okay, where exactly would this burn actually be done to meet up with Kerbin properly? Okay, so I think we have to wait longer. But basically until there, I think would be better. Right now, it's too soon. So, I'm gonna wait... what is that? 20 degrees? 30 degrees? Whatever. And, but that's with Kerbin being where it is right now, though. But Kerbin is slower, so it's not gonna advance too much. I think that's what this all means. So, <laughs> back to the tracking station. We're a long way off from having pork chop plots in KSP2. Okay... Maybe that's about the angle. It's all eyeballing. Oh my god, what just- okay. And it's spinning again. Okay. Right. Anyway. Seems like we're spending more than we ought to, though. But something's happening over there. Maybe I can just reel it. We're spending so much, nearly 4,000. I mean, radial is just a proxy for moving it around, but moving it around here is also... that can also cost more, so... The way that the maneuvers are plotted right now... is making things worse. For this particular exit. By quite a lot. <laughs> this one, this one is probably the worst one to have the maneuver plotted the way they do it right now. The way to compensate for that would be to start earlier and add a huge radial component to compensate for the weird orbit situation. I don't know if that's going to help me a whole lot for this one. Maybe we should try and find out. So we know that really what we want is that point to be at periapsis. Now how much radial am I going to have to do to get it there? I can't even... I can't even tug the radial bar. Uh, it's not showing me the radial bar because it's inside the planet, of course. Yeah, so you have to dump a whole lot of radial component in order to make it correct. So I'm got, but the way it's doing that, though, we're gonna end up crashing into the surface or stuff. It's not great. See. So there's a limit to how much I can do that. But really we want that to be at periapsis. So we want to follow our orbit out and then at periapsis hit that. But we can't plot it like that. <laughs> Just can't plot it like that. What can I do? So we have to spend more than we ought to. Maybe I should just get close and then readjust. 
make another maneuver to fix it. So we'll do this first, I think. What we really want to do is hit it right there. But we can't because I'll be crashing into the surface of Moho. Alright, so we'll just try this first and then we'll readjust. Hopefully we'll have enough. It says we have 5,681 and we're using 4,144 here. But it's not super close and I've got to do it as plotted because I put the radial burn in in order to try and make it right. Uh, the ant engines are on and I've got to leave them on. I'll let them deplete the propellant in the rover. Okay, go. That's the sound of the ant engines being depleted. Now I have to be careful about the whole crashy thing, just because it didn't give me the exclamation mark doesn't mean we're not too close to the surface. And it's dark over here. I mean, mostly Moho's pits, right? It's not big on mountains. Well, six kilometers from the surface, five kilometers. We're really skimming it. Okay, but I think we are safe. We are now going up by quite a lot. Okay, I think I'll take that for starters. Let's see if we can do it. Staking all of our Delta V. Maybe we shouldn't even decide to bring back the rover. I don't think it's very useful. Hopefully the little probe core and parachutes and heat shield will do the trick. Okay, separation and ignition. This is a terrier. Well, I don't know how close we're getting there. I think we'll just plot a mid-course correction. Okay, well that doesn't seem too bad, right? Okay, 44 kilometers there, mid-course adjustment 126 meters per second, and... All right, well, we've mostly departed Moho already during, during this burn. But uh, out we go. I'll take 147 for now. Okay, we are headed over there. On we go. Okay, well, here we are, and we are in Kerbin SOI. Mm, there's Kerbin. Really, really far out yet, but... We want to see how much it would take to capture. We're not going to try and capture. We don't have that kind of Delta V. But just in case, for future reference, let's see how much it would take to capture. And that will also give us an idea about how much heat we're going to be facing. Oh, it doesn't let me see. Stop doing that. Let me see how much it would take anyway. You just let... Mm. Fine. Anyway, it's more than we've got. So, okay. We're going to do a radial inburn and get it into the atmosphere. I guess we're disposing of the rover. Sad thing. Okay, 26 kilometers is like what I always use. And I'm definitely going to save here because who knows. Okay, right about here I'm going to set things up. So, poor rover. You're undocking. Hopefully we'll still have the science. Okay, in theory, this probe core over here still has the science, right? Seems that way. Unless it's reading the rover stuff. Okay. So... Now I'm gonna arm the parachutes. Uh, arm... Deploy settings... Oh, shouldn't I just put it as high as possible? Deploy mode safe should be good enough, right? Got to set it to 30 kPa, but uh, nothing in that range is really what I want it to be. But... Okay. Well, let's get a little bit closer. 
so that the rover drifts off. And the uh, little probe is going to be on internal power, though. I don't want this to come back to hit us, though. It doesn't have a controller of its own. Oh well. I guess that's that. Okay, retro? Well, I guess it's not as harsh as I was thinking it would be. I have to say whether the Jewel entry or Elu entry or this one was worse. I'll have to check the videos. I don't remember the numbers. There's the rover again. Okay. No, no, uh, surface retro. Stay there. Okay, here we go. All right. It says it's blading, but we haven't used much. No, he should be coming straight down. And it might be in the middle of mountains. But we're clear of the re-entry heat. Lots of sound. Surprised we didn't hear any explosions from our stage or rover. Guess they ended up further off. Okay, parachute. Um, deploy? Deploy? Parachute? Deploy? Yeah. Immediate? Deploy? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why aren't they deploying? No, why? I, I armed them ahead of time. No, this is not fair. They were armed. It's fine. They should have deployed. Why didn't they deploy? I shouldn't tweak that darn thing. Fine. We're going to load that save. Okay, so this time I'm not fooling around with the parachutes at all. Uh, I, at least I think I haven't, so... Okay, so that's the rover off. And then we'll get closer and then our probe will be off. Is there something about the probe that I don't understand that doesn't allow the parachutes to deploy? We have power. It's not a peculiarity of this probe core or something, is it? Shouldn't be. I mean, we can control it. it says we have comms, full control and comm that, and uh, when we were trying to deploy the parachutes, so I haven't armed them or anything. Uh, when we were trying to deploy the parachutes, we also had green on the full control. Science is here. Must be returned to KSC. Okay, we are in the atmosphere. The rover is awful close. We should hear it explode. Keep an eye on it. Seems to be surviving rather well, and Lathe it would be like mincemeat already, right? Huh. We are only using the internal comm device on the nano core or octo core. Pretty high G forces. Maybe something about having it armed while going through fizz warp or something. I know you can't, or it has trouble deploying while in fizz warp, so. 
Maybe that was the issue. Okay, we are out of warp, and I'm pressing spacebar. Uh, deploy? Oh, come on. It's safe. Arm. Please. Okay, I'm, I'm we got pause. I'm gonna go to a tracking station and come back to it. What can I do? I mean, um, let me go to space center. Oh, uh, oh, so it's still in control of it in this state. Mm, destroyed. No, I don't want it to be destroyed. Um, control. Okay. Well, uh, I want I want some answers for this. Um, we have power. We're not hibernating. It says fully functional. We've got full control. I should have just had a retro pack that had 135 meters per second. I guess I could bring the stage down, but it'd probably blow up. But then again, the rover didn't seem prone to blowing up. Um, so that's complicated. Let me just uh, control from here, maybe. I don't know. No, let's control from here. I don't know if that did anything. Control from here. Nope. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've got the save from when we entered Kerbin SOI. I thought I'd get to the Eve thing this time, but I guess not. So, I won't be able to do the pre patch Eve test, it looks like. Uh, because I want an answer to this, and I don't want to move on just yet until I get an answer. So, if you guys have suggestions for what I might be able to do, because I don't want to do the whole moho thing again, I don't want to go to the croissant and get that science again, we need to bring it back. Now, we have some options. We could send a rescue vehicle out to the probe, but as it has entered Kerbin SOI, we can just sort of rescue the science with something a little bit better. Uh, to bring that science back. Maybe the thing is glitched or something. Uh, or maybe there's a solution that I'm not thinking of for why the parachutes don't deploy. And so that's another thing. But I, I want to figure this out before we move on to do the EVE thing. And so I can't do the test I was planning to see how the EVE heat is pre-patch compared to post-patch. So that sucks, but that's how it is. So I'm going to leave it here. And hopefully you guys have some thoughts about this. With that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.